COVID-19 task force officials are voicing their concerns against recent actions taken by Florida Surgeon General. ABC 27's Veronica Fernaccio explains the next steps. We have a, a serious problem of, of trying to deal with disinformation. Reverend Dr. R.B. Holmes addressing recent concerns at a press conference Tuesday taken by Florida's Surgeon General Dr. Joseph Ladapo. When the Surgeon General uh, raised issues about science and masks, I think you cannot let it be a, a distraction. It ought to be a motivator. Reverend Dr. Holmes says he was disappointed when he heard Dr. Ladapo chose not to wear a mask at a recent event when a state senator asked him to. Senator Tina Polsky was recently diagnosed with breast cancer and is now immunocompromised. Dr. Ladapo addressed this in a recent statement on Twitter, saying in part he would never knowingly be disrespectful to anyone, and that he spoke with Polsky about holding the event outdoors to address her concerns. He says he chose not to wear a mask because he feels it hinders his ability to get his messaging across. Dr. Holmes says Dr. Ladapo's actions send the wrong information about the effectiveness of masking. Uh, no preventative measure for COVID is completely effective. Dr. Donald Axelrad is an associate professor of environmental and occupational health at FAMU. He says vaccines aren't 100% effective, so wearing a mask is the best way to add another layer of protection. You wear a mask in public settings. It, it's only a polite, responsible, safe thing to do. The governor's office responding in a statement applauding Bethel missionaries' work saying Florida is above the national average in vaccination rate and Bethel Missionary Baptist Church has helped achieve this. Veronica Vernaccio, ABC 27. Dr. Holmes says that the statewide task force plans to hold more education seminars and vaccine clinics across the state until 70% of all Floridians are vaccinated.